What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're actually going to be talking about today and we don't see a lot of videos on this but it's going to be on 11 v 10 dips and some crazy attacks uh, that we've been seeing lately uh, that we've just been throwing down shout out to all of our Town Hall 11s and it's this war right here and this isn't a war recap, uh, just going to be featuring a few attacks uh, from this war. We had a random matchup against One Hive 2.0, getting the victory uh, nevertheless. And this was an even breakdown as well. This was a 40 v 40, and the breakdown was 6-16, and the rest filled up with uh, Town Hall 9s. But at any rate... What we're going to be looking at today is a few hog attacks. Um, you know, we're really accustomed to seeing bi uh, bitch attacks, bowlers and witches, and a lot of tens. Not that they're necessarily defending a, a, a Town Hall 11 dip, so to speak, but they are making their bases uh, with the wizard tower placement, with the mortar placements, where their giant bombs are, etc., as well as how many jumps can reach across the base, and things like that where bases aren't being hit with bitch at the rate we were seeing it and lalo uh, even with the level seven loons were just you know and again at town hall nine town hall 10 and even town hall 11s um you know a few of our dips have been with lalo so they kind of just been messing around uh with this attack there's a few different variations i'm gonna go ahead and hit play and here we have ano uh, gonna be coming in he's got 22 hog and is just gonna completely crush it our guys have also as you guys are gonna see in the other replays have been using the quad quake as he did the quad quake right over that that bomb tower right there just kind of opening up uh, the entire entry right here uh, also leading to the inferno tower just gonna have this really big kill squad uh, did have uh, about nine uh, bowlers that he's bringing along with this kill squad as well as his heroes and obviously the warden behind him uh, just increasing that HP from all those troops drops down a rage uh, does have a poison spell uh, to take out wasn't a loon that came out but it was a wizard and an archer and just kind of help out with those pups right there just getting really good value um, from his kill squad right here King unfortunately walked around, not even going to matter. Here comes the hogs right here. Does have, and also with the hogs, the level seven heal. Remember the in the last update, that heal did get a buff uh, going up to level seven, as well as the freeze spell is now maxed out at level six, guys. So, and he also had seven hogs that came out of the clan castle just kind of meeting up with his pack right here has a nice freeze uh, that lasts like 10 seconds now over that inferno tower followed up by his last heal and just completely smashes this base swagging the archer queen ability as well and like i said uh, we have a few different replays and a couple different variations as far as bowlers uh, how many bowlers how many golems uh, qu uh bringing quad quake versus just uh jumping in so big shout out to Ano on that one and he also took out their number nine as well as we're going to go ahead and watch this uh again this base is a a, a different layout so it's it, i mean it's not I, I, at this point i want to say it's not even really base specific i mean if you can just get a funnel at this point if, if you can funnel uh your kill squad in I mean, especially uh, Town Hall 11 Kill Squad dipping on a 10 is just so much uh, to handle, especially under the Grand Warden ability. So here he's going to be entering right down here at about 5 o'clock. Uh, did bring two golems, so he is doing a shattered entry, trying to get that Inferno Tower as well as the enemy Archer Queen. And this again, the CC troops don't even really matter at the end of the day, considering, uh, at least in, you know, in, in these wars... In these quote unquote elite wars, it's always going to be a hound loon or a hound plus something else. And a hound is going to do absolutely nothing to hogs. So you see his uh, Grand Warren ability just finished. And here comes all his hogs coming in right here at about nine o'clock. And his kill squad took out pretty much the entire core of this base. And on this one, he is bringing three heal as well as a freeze. Uh, did not go with the quad quake, uh, just jumped in. Uh, to take out again the enemy archer queen and um just so other uh, other defenses just to create pathing for the hogs as they're just going to come around this entire base right here also had uh hogs that came out of the cc as well 
and just completely wrecks this base. I mean, I mean, could have swagged a heel, didn't even need that heel spell right there. And like I said, look, that hound is still up. Doesn't even matter uh, whether your kill squad gets it or not. You can pretty much uh, suicide your queen just to take out some defenses. Okay, now for the next one right here, we're going to go to number 10. We don't even have to really search for him. I mean, we're just dropping down one by one. Again, doing it with hogs. Check it out. He's got 20 uh, reels bringing 22 hogs uh, with, this, with this attack right here. Does have one golem in the camp, and he went ahead and brought the second golem in the clan castle and notice right here is just getting a, bo uh, a bowler bounce on that mortar right there trying to eliminate any splash damage that he can and he did go ahead he didn't go with the jumps went went ahead with the quad quake and remember the quake opens up um eight wall pieces as opposed to the jump which is only seven so goes ahead and gets a nice entry right here and like i said if you can get the funnel and you can get an infernal tower and the enemy archer queen again as well as that funnel this attack strategy is just wrecking bases and even has a, a drag loon coming out of the cc what what is going on here in 2.0 drag loon coming out of the cc <clears throat> and does have 22 hogs that he's bringing along gets i mean about half this just look at the look at the value he gets from the kill squad again also bringing uh the two maxed heals and one freeze doesn't even have it fully maxed out look at that double cannon right there just completely gets wrecked by all those hogs uh, does have four that he's saving just kind of bring on this flank here froze the it heal over it i'm telling you guys this attack i mean is this is this new meta i don't know and it, i mean again as long as you can hog um and it's not it's not as spammy as you know uh, other lalo attacks we would see especially bitch uh it does require a certain amount of skill as far as the spell placements hog deployment you know getting the entry for the kill squad but if you can do those basic things, I'm telling you, it is very, it is going to be very hard for a Town Hall 10 to stop an attack like this, at least on a dip, um, because at the end of the day, Town Hall 10s want to defend Town Hall 10s, but we do still see a lot of dip fails. But uh, with this hog attack, we're going to go ahead, drop down one more time. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over a little cold. All right, and here we have, look at this kill squad. 20 bowlers only bringing 14 hogs i believe he is also bringing uh some hogs in the cc on this one <coughs> drops down one golem uh just on that mortar again just setting up the kill squad right here oh there's the other golem so okay so he did have a golem in the cc so and he's also bringing quad quake you can probably guess where those are going to go and just going to have the entire kill squad look at that right in the core bringing quad quake and a jump what is going on here captain crunch look at all those bowlers 20 bowlers are about to penetrate this base right here nothing is going to stop it this raid is going to end in a minute and 20 seconds and goes ahead and drops a rage on the bowlers so again just a different variation you got the quad quake plus a jump going very very kill squad heavy especially with that quad quake literally opening up the entire core uh, nice warn ability uh, protecting all those troops inside the core as they were coming up on those inferno towers and he hasn't even deployed a hog yet. He's already at 60%. Here they come right here as they're going to be approaching this in front of the tower. Isn't even using any spells on the hogs, guys. All spells uh, went on the kill squad. So again, just a slight uh, variation to this attack. There's literally nothing left but that archer tower right there. Completely smashed this base. Shout out to Captain Crunch. And this, all in all, this was a very, very fun war. And it was kind of nice for a change to actually match with a clan uh, where we had an even breakdown. I couldn't believe it. I'm uh, Again, with the public war log, it is just the Great Red Sea in our war log. And to be honest, a lot of it was um, disadvantages. Just ask any of the clans that we've warred against. No excuses, but it was a very fun war. And it was again, it was nice to have an even breakdown. Shout out to One Hype 2.0. Best of luck in the rest of your season. <coughs> oh man, being sick sucks. 
So again, shout out to One Hive 2.0 and shout out to everybody in FFS bringing home the victory over uh, a CWO invite clan. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys liked the attacks that I showed <coughs> in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, is this the new meta? 11 v 10 dipping down with hogs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <coughs> I gotta go take some NyQuil. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.